Welcome to this webinar dedicated to Analytics DOS, an automatic tool for prediction. Uh, with our expert today, uh, Sandrine, our Oncology Product Manager. Hi. Please note that this session is recorded. At, at any given time, you can raise a hand or ask a question through the chat or the question section of your panel. And now Sandrine and I will be switching off our webcams so you can see a full presentation. So first, uh, I'd like to give you a short introduction of our company. Aquilab is a French SME which develops and markets advanced software solutions to improve quality in cancer treatments. Our solutions are divided into four activities. First of all, sorry, we have the quality assurance of medical devices with our ArtiScan solution, which is dedicated to the imaging and machine QA. Then we help improve medical expertise with our RTView software, which is used in for the preparation and evaluation of radiotherapy treatments. Another major activity is the quality of clinical studies to better evaluate new strategies. This is our web platform SharePlace that centralizes and analyzes imaging and radiotherapy data. And finally, Aquilab is strongly involved in the training of radiotherapy professionals with online countering tools dedicated to education and the organization of workshops. And now I will be uh, turning the presentation over to Sandrine. There you go. Thank you, Florence. Now we are focused on SharePlace, our web platform and the module analytics for automatic dose calculation. Few words in Share, about SharePlace. This platform is secured in HTTPS connection and data are stored in certified health data center. This center is located in France. SharePlace manage full DICOM and DICOM RT format com coming from any TPS. You can see some of our clients like Uniconcer or the Royal College of Radiology. In the left, a brief SharePlace matrix updated this month. In the right, excuse me. <laughs> uh, to follow this functionality, SharePlace becomes Oncoplace. With this tool, you are able to extract radiometric features or calculate those features too and it can help your definition of predictive models. In details, SharePlace permits to capture and structure original data like clinical data, imaging, dose, side effect, and uh, some uh, quality of life from patient with our application patient place. Based on this data, we are focused on this part and analytics tools will be able to calculate automatically features uh, with a structure name updated by the site. Multiple possibilities are offered by analytics tools. An automatic calculation of those features based on DICOM RT data. This calculation can be done during inclusion time and after all patients are included in the SharePlace database. The calculation can be made per patient or all of all other patients, and you can calculate and export all DVH, and you can choose indices constraints to be calculated for each organ. Some application can be automatic domain run or RTQA automatic in clinical trial, an automatic calculation of DVH value per patient, for example. I'll show you now how to use this tool in a brief demo. You are now in the SharePlace platform and I'm logging as a sponsor to use this tool. You arrive in the clinical study and you see some tiles for the project and we focus on inclusion first to be used for analytics. Now we can go to inclusions. Just to show you how 
we structure the data into chair place. For this study, we collect some clinical information like treatment star date or, or user met, used method. Uh, these fields are can be customized by the protocol and the sponsor. And the sites, the site can upload the treatment plan of the patient. They upload CT at a dose plan and struct, and they can harmonize all the structure present in the original RT struct to the expected structure def defined by the platform. This structure can be customized by the protocol. And you can see here you have for the, all the patients in the platform, the GTVT, PTV, spinal cord, or ERT, for example. We can now go to analytics to use this harmonized structure into the tool. You can see in analytics two tiles, the dose and analysis. We can go first analyze and we can create a new analysis. To use this tool, we must calculate first the DVH. We can name the analysis and you have three types of analyze, the DVH, the constraint set or signature. We can go first in DVH and create this analysis. For this analysis, you, you can parameter with filters what you want to include in this analysis. You have, for example, radiotherapy information. We have seen in the previous tab, and you can choose, for example, user method or total fraction per account to filter. We, we don't apply this filter in this demo. And in the second time, you have a data selection to target what data you need. And if you want include all region of interest or not, of just a part of, we can select all for this demo. You have the choice to have extended summation dose or a common one. We can get extended. And if you want to uh, consider the voxel outside the field or not, we can consider it. And you, you have two methods for DVH calculation. You compute or read it. Uh, here we can compute and run. This analysis is processing. We can go back and see a finished DVH test to see what the result looks like. You can see here 14 analysis succeeded and you can access all, uh, all patients and see results. And see the DVH by patient, you can select or deselect all and just see one structure if you need it. If you want, you can have access directly in DICOM data if you want to see it. You can also select a region of interest to download results into CSV format. You can see some analysis was impos were impossible due to uh, missing of RTStruct or RTDOS, for example. If you made this, if you made this analysis during the study, you can rip, uh, fetch new inclusion in this analysis to see, to add the, the new patient, including in the protocol. And in the bottom of the page, you have a summary of selected data. Once the DVH test analysis are done, we can create a constraint set. We go to the dose and we can create a new one. For example, in this demo, we can seek the earth, the earth constraint. You can select 
a region of interest here is the earth you can select gtv ptv all the rename structure present in the harmonized structure the earth is here and you, you can now add a definition for your constraint all of the, the, the constraints are available here and we can add for example volume for a 40 degree and the result unit is in percent or cc you can add limit of a constraint minimum limit or maximum limit here we can add 40 percent in the relative maximum and 45 for the minimum a maximum absolute maximum you can add all constraints you need and all structure you need to add in this constraint state and now uh, and now we can create our constraint set you can see the summary here for v40 and the constraint limit we can go back to the main project and go to analysis and create an analysis for this constraint we select constraint set analyze type and create you must choose the source of a dh in this example we have 14 inclusion analyzed and a summary of filter apply in this demo you can add also a new inclusion filter if you need based on the same way to the dvh and now you can select a constraint set for example and you see its summary below or create a new set if it's needed when the DVH data source was selected and included filter selected too, we can run the analysis. I'll show, I'll show you now how an analysis uh, looks like after calculation. For, for this example, I, I select the spinal cord and have apply a constraint set for the denier max and to calculate and the maximum of 40 and 45 grays and we can see results all results appears now like this for with the volume and the denier max in gray you can see it's highlighted in orange because it's between the relative and absolute deviation This one is green because it's below the limit. You can now download the results for the, all the patients and XLS open. It's here, and you can see here the inclusion, the volume for the spinal cord, for example and the linear max calculated by the tool and it's all for this brief demonstration of our solution analytics for your clinical trial yes. thank you sandrine uh, we're going to switch back our uh, cameras uh, webcams and uh, well i hope you found this session uh, informative and we're gonna uh, go to the questions now we had uh, one which is uh, is there a maximum number of patients uh, for this analysis we have no maximum uh, of patient we uh, the tool can analyze uh, 100 or 1,000 or 5,000 patients uh, with no, uh, no contra contraindication. Uh, the time for the analysis is, is bigger for 1,000. 
of course, but uh, no, no limits for a patient. Okay, I'm going to give the attendees, sorry, maybe one minute or two. It doesn't seem to be uh, any more questions. It's, it's maybe clear. <laughs> hope I hope so. So. <laughs> so we hope this has been uh, informative and uh, please do not hesitate to ask any uh, question you would like to uh, at info at aquilab.com or visit our website and you can request a full demo of our solutions. And thank you again for attending this webinar. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.